Okay, so it is January 1st, 2024. I saw a video yesterday talking about MetaZoo prices in December 31st, 2021. And like Kickstarter Full Hollow Mothman PSA 10 was like $10,000. It's insane. Now it's about $1,000. So I thought, hey, let's go to eBay and check out some recent uh, prices in the market during this crazy MetaZoo dip. I know it's happening all over the board in every TCG sports cards everything but let's see what's going on in MetaZoo so then in a year from now two years five years from now we could be like holy crap you bought that for that cheap so recently in the most recent set the Kuromi's Cryptid Carnival the Chibi Aura so for $131 American insanely hard to pull so the boxes are around maybe 60 65 dollars I believe so again the card that sells for $131 is pretty good at this point some of these prices are gonna be an extreme dip some of them you're gonna see there's some cards holding value it's interesting it just shows meta is not dead it'll never die there's always gonna be a market for this it's just a small market but it's cool to document it and see what it's like in the future compared to now or see what it was like back then in the future so down here we have prism aura from the eBay set the first time that MetaZoo put on the new hollow foil. I mean, Prismora is by far the best card in Wilderness and it sold for only $70 American. The eBay edition, that is not an easy card to get. $70, that's a huge dip in the market for that card. Here we have Valentine's Day promo, Chibi Parade, sold for $1.25. And same thing here with the uh, Grim Reaper, Chibi Grim Reaper, $1.25. Here we have a lot of five promo cards. Let's see if we can zoom in. So two first anniversary cards. That's actually a really nice card. Uh, the promo you get when you buy a blister pack of Krypton Nation 1. The promo if you open up a spell book of Krypton Nation 1. And this is just one of those medals you would get if you bought the second print of the second edition uh, comic book. All five of them sold for only $14.50 total. Here's a card that's holding up some value. I mean, it's not a hollow. It probably is rare. It probably, yeah, it's stamped with the staff logo, as you can see there. So it's a non-hollow bookmark from the Caster's Cup. 125 bucks, 11 bids. PSA 10. So maybe that's for someone's collection to get all the Caster Cup cards. I don't know. As you'll see with prices and other cards in this, uh, video i would not spend 125 dollars on this card when you can get a lot of other stuff for that same price here we have reverse hollow tripodero it's not the kickstarter one i'm not sure why anyone would even grade this card like who and it's psa 9 i can't believe there's four bids on this for two dollars and 25 cents i mean it's a bronze rarity reverse hollow only first edition it's not kickstarter and it graded a psa 9 i mean if you want to take a loss who, like whoever graded this, what, did, how did you think you were going to make a profit on this? Grading the card must have been at least $15. At least 12 bucks. I don't know how cheap it was when they graded with PSA when they sent this card in. But this card raw sells, um, anyways, I don't know why you would grade this card. You're guaranteed to take a loss. And yeah, you took at least a $10 loss, probably more. Does everyone remember when uh, sample, or not sample cards, playtester cards were such a cool thing? Let's see if we can zoom in. Play tester. I mean, it's got the silver border. And it is holding up some value. I mean, it's a wilderness card. Golden Bear. Sold for 35 bucks. Not bad. Probably someone wants to complete their set or something. Next, we have the native Meteoric Fusion Aura. PSA 10. Now, I know a lot of people talk about natives holding up well in the market and all that stuff. They're $27 for a PSA 10. Whoever sold this thought probably thought they were going to make a lot more than this off this card. It's a PSA 10. Uh, next, I, I thought this was the most popular aura out of Native. The Magma Fusion Aura. But as a Gem Mint 10, only 41 bucks? Take off the grading fees? I mean, didn't this card used to sell for like near $100 or more at one point? Am I wrong? And in the same auction, I mean, once again, I made a video talking about it. MetaZoo's gone to zero plus grading fees. Uh, native 
Bulgarite Fusion PSA 10, $20.50. I find this interesting. Like, this is the recent FOMO in uh, MetaZoo with these disclosure pages and the Black Friday promos. You just saw those fusions that I just showed that were selling for $20 to maybe $41 for the Magma. As PSA 10s, we have Giant Squid Full Hollow from Black Friday promos selling for $30. Maybe someone bought it for the collection because they didn't pull it out of their Black Friday packs or something. I mean, $30 isn't a lot of money, but still. Look at the other cards that just sold as PSA 10s. I'd rather have those Fusion Auras than this card any day. I mean, it's not even a question. Here's a prime example, the interesting like dynamic in MetaZoo right now. We have the FOMO where Giant Squid Black Friday promo is selling for $30. I guarantee in a year from now, no one is going to give a crap about Black Squid from Black Friday promos. Meanwhile, on the same day, we have Flatwoods Monster Full Hollow Kickstarter selling for $36. It's only $6 more than a giant squid, or no, sorry, black squid, full hollow. <laughs> like, next we have another perfect example where you can send in cards from MetaZoo that are actually pretty sweet cards, and you're losing money by grading them. So there's no point. And this is a nice card. It's the first anniversary celebration card. I remember when this first came out, I FOMO'd out, and I bought one for $125 raw. It graded as a PSA 10, but now you can pull, you could pick up a PSA 10 already graded for $16.50. If this person would have kept this card raw and not graded it, they would have more money in their bank account. They would have an extra four bucks. Here we have Crypto Nation second edition booster box, uh, 12 of them for $255. So that would come out to $21.25 each. So that's another thing to look for in a year from now, two years from now, however many years from now. Second edition boxes in a lot were selling for $21.25 each. Here we have Crypto Nation second edition spellbook, four of them sold for a total of $10.51. So that's about $2 and I don't know, 60 cents each. I mean, if you take $10.51 divided by, you'd have 40 packs from all the spellbooks combined. You'd be paying about 26 cents per pack. I know it's second edition, but still, 26 cents per pack? This is a steal of a deal. That's, uh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Shipping was $51, okay. And that's another thing when you're looking at eBay auctions, I should have mentioned at the beginning of the video, is sometimes it's because the shipping is so insane, that's why the actual item sold for cheaper than it looks. Yeah, I guess it's the same thing here. There's uh, one wilderness booster box, one UFO booster box. That's pretty crazy, $32 only. But the shipping is $38, so that adds up. But still, extremely cheap. That's about $16 per box. So if you include the shipping, it's about $35 per box. And then we have interesting promos like this, the Unicorn. Full holo from the M2 P2 supplement series. Let's zoom in on this. I mean, it's super nice artwork. But 91 bucks for this? Honestly, in a year from now, this card might be selling for the 20 bucks, if that. I also heard that M2, uh, M2P2 is selling the cards for $30 for two cards without having to buy the supplement or something. I don't know too much about that, but I did hear that in Discord that you can get these cards for a lot cheaper than they were first selling for. I mean, there's unicorn fans out there, but this card is not going to hold any real value in a year from now. There's no way. $100, only one bid for the Possessed Aura. It's big box edition, not first edition. First edition is a lot harder to get than the big box, but still, it's holding $100. Hey, 30th anniversary MetaZoo box. Sold for $8.50. Whoever thought this day would come? Anyone remember when Kickstarter packs were selling for like no less than 300 bucks? Maybe in the Mothman artwork, probably upwards of $500 or more. Now you could buy the art set, all four of them, for $183. That's less than $50 a pack. Here's another cool card, there's only one bid. I'm not sure what happened or why there only was one bid, but $30 for the new Disclosure Pages Flatwoods Monster. It's cool, but Flatwoods Monster we just saw as Kickstarter Full Hollow only sold for $36. So if that's only selling for $36, what hope does this card have? It's cool right now, 
but in a year from now, I'd rather have that Kickstarter one for six bucks more. And here we have the Men in Black Hollow, five bids, ended at $44 from the Black Friday packs. It's a really cool artwork. Let's zoom in a little bit here. I mean, yeah, that's cool. I like the original Men in Black better from uh, UFO. I don't think the one's gonna age well as either. It age well either. I mean, it's cool, it's badass. But I think it's gonna drop significantly within a few months. So just wait a little bit and you'll get this for pretty cheap. Oh, that didn't take long. It's not a few months from now, it's only December 30th. There's another one that ended for 26 bucks. And this is what I'm talking about. It's just FOMO, and we all give into it. I've given into it, I'll probably give into it again for future products. I mean, when war comes out in May, I'll probably be FOMOing out like bananas, you know what I mean? But that's only because I figure by that time, MetaZoo's gonna have the print runs under control, and things are actually gonna have value again for new sets, but we'll see. Here we have the badass Bigfoot Black Friday promo, 23 bucks, that's a fair price. It's gonna drop, I mean, this is gonna be a $10 card soon enough. A pretty badass, not bad. I like it. And here we have Unicorn. Unicorn gets a premium. I'm not a big fan of Unicorn stuff, but let's check out the artwork a little closer. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I mean, these cards are badass. I think if people outside of Metas who saw these Black Friday promos, they'd be like, holy shit, these are cool. I want these cards. 35 bucks, I would not pay $35 for this card though. I mean, like I was showing earlier, and you'll see later in this video too, I mean, Flatwoods Monster Full Hollow Kickstarter was selling for $36. Like, screw these Black Friday promos when there's Kickstarter cards selling for near the same price. This is a surprise to me. This Uncle Sam promo uh, used to sell for quite a bit of money, but as a PSA 10, only 41 bucks. I don't remember last time I don't really follow this promo too much, but I don't remember last time it sold for like less than 50 bucks. Raw. So as a PSA 10 selling for only 41, I mean with grading fees 20 bucks. I mean this is way more than a $20 card normally. So I don't know what happened here, but there's 15 bids and they only went up to $41. I'm surprised by that. This is an auction that really confuses me. I mean everyone wants to get uh, the Rose Robinson card from the Christmas set, but Santa Adam only sold for $27. This is a very hard card to pull like very difficult to pull so for $27 that's a steal of a deal whoever got that all I can say is congratulations that's amazing another steal of a deal that I guarantee in a year from now or anyone that discovers Bloody Mary in the the new fan base that's coming 12 bucks for Bloody Mary that's insane I don't even care what the condition of the card is 12 bucks that's by far the best fan art card ever made and probably maybe ever will be made it's bloody mary i mean it's non-redeemable but the piazza bird from bear walker only 37 dollars steal of a deal these boxes were so expensive and here's another steal of a deal grim reaper from bear walker 39 dollars this card right here i mean it's got love uh loveland frogman and sam sinclair remember when the promo card came out and i believe it is going to be in this video too the mothman and sam sinclair that card skyrocketed in value. It just shows, even though Loveland Frogman's the second most popular character in MetaZoo, Mothman is just so far beyond in popularity. So this one says it's Piazza Bird, still redeemable from, wow, Kryptonation, the Revive set, the very first Revive skateboards. Piazza Bird for only $56 and it's still redeemable. Here we are with Bear Walker again. I mean, it's not redeemable, but this Loveland Frogman promo, I sold this for a lot more than $26 personally. I can't remember how much, but it was at least double this. I sold it for over $50, I know that much. Another pretty good one. Wow, so the first revived Loveland Frogman sold for $46, but Bear Walker sold for $26. Another very good deal. $24 bucks for Bigfoot. It's not redeemable, but it's from the first revive set. Ah, and here it is. The Mothman Sam Sinclair promo that everyone wants. $67. I remember I bought three of these in a lot. And so two of them were regular and one of them was autographed by Poncho. And it was $120 for the three of them. And I bought another one individually for $35.
Like even in the dip of the market, it's still selling for $67. Ooh, there's a good card. And see, there's still value in Metazoo. Anyone that, you know, is a true hater that thinks, oh, nothing sells for anything, everything's dirt cheap. People are still spending some good money. I mean, this is unredeemed, so you can still redeem the skateboard. Uh, the uh, Unrefined Chaos Crystal. I mean, it's dipped quite a bit from what it probably was selling before, but I mean, $306 is no... It's not even graded or anything. It's still selling for $306 American. That's a pretty penny, man. That's pretty sweet. And then you have these nutty cards. I don't know. The disclosure pages never appeal to me. But yet, I mean, the UFO, I know it's the hardest one to pull. It's like short printed, but $202. I mean, you're going to see some stuff in auctions coming up here. Think about it. If you had $202, would you to spend on MetaZoo product? Would you want this or a lot of the other things you're going to see soon, including the Kickstarter cards? I don't know. I mean, it's not even graded, man. It's just sitting in some card stand. Ah, $202. That's insane. Oh, speaking of other cool stuff, I don't know what the condition of this card is, but it's Kickstarter Sam Sinclair. $57. Meanwhile, we have UFO selling for $202. Well, here's the best card you could pull out of Wilderness. Sold for 28 bucks. Not too good. But this is a card I would consider an investment. If you can get these and get them in good condition, like PSA 9, PSA 10, they're just a binder full of these. This is the very first aura in MetaZoo history. This has value. Even to play with, this has value. So $28, I guarantee that price is going to change. <laughs> Here we have Mothman, first edition. Uh, sealed booster pack with the promo and coin five dollars and fifty cents oh my goodness these used to sell no less than fifty dollars on eBay this card's interesting I was actually bidding on this card personally I didn't think it was gonna sell for this much but this shows there is still money being poured into MetaZoo on the secondary market it just really depends what it is uh, this is PSA 10 Kickstarter full hollow chaos crystal authenticated that it was signed by Poncho. Now I looked this up on the PSA pop report and I think it sold for $485 because it's a population one. I, there's, a, there's I think four uh, Kickstarter Chaos Crystals that are autographed, but only one got a PSA 10 with the authentic autograph. And yeah, here's buying the dip again. Full hollow uh, Kickstarter card, Metal Man of Alabama, not the most popular character. PSA 10, 71 bucks, buy the dip, can't complain with that. Wow, I can't believe how cheap these are now. These used to be a lot more, but Kickstarter, but I mean, this is still quite a bit of money. Kickstarter, uh, Mothman artwork with the Mothman Kickstarter promo and the Kickstarter coin, 135 bucks. I mean, the packs are selling for less than $50 a pack or maybe $50 a pack. So to sell this for 135, and it's still just one pack. It is the Mothman artwork with the Mothman promo and the coin. I mean, 135, I think is a little much for the way the market is right now. But overall, this is still buying the dip. That is extremely cheap compared to what they were selling for. Hey, even Hello Kitty's not immune to the dip. I'm, I believe, I don't know, maybe a couple months ago, there was a Hello Kitty PSA 10, not even autographed, that sold for $1,000. This one's autographed, it's authentic. PSA 10 for $321 only so whoever bought this is buying the dip that's actually a pretty good price compared to where this card was only a couple months ago yeah I mean Argos tried his best I remember when Chromie's Crypto Carnival was coming out he was talking about these Valentine's Day promo boxes because they got you know it's a whole chibi set right and it's from 2022 Valentine's Day we're almost at 2024 Valentine's Day this is almost this product's almost two years old, and it sold for only four dollars and twenty-five cents. So, at the end of 2023, more specifically December 28th, 2023, uh, Crypto Nation first edition box sold for 184 dollars and fifty cents. Here we have full hollow. I was gonna bid on this auction, but I bought another card. You're gonna see right away. Uh, full hollow Chaos Crystal PSA 9 for 61 dollars. That's buying the dip. And here is a card 
that I own. I own a PSA 9 Full Hollow Loveland Frogman Kickstarter. When I bought mine, I paid $140 and I thought that was an amazing deal. This one, I also bought that you're looking at right now. I couldn't believe I won an auction. This is the second best card you could pull in Kickstarter behind Mothman, right? Goes Mothman, Loveland Frogman, Full Hollow, and then whatever else. Maybe Sam Sinclair, Piazza Bird, Chaos Crystal, Power Up Red, I don't know. But this is easily the second best card you can pull out of Kickstarter. Full Hollow for $92.55. I can't believe, and this was an auction, there's 23 bids. I'm not the only one that noticed this. Why did no one want to bid more than this? I know it's only a PSA 9, not a PSA 10, but PSA 10 sell for over $300. So to get a PSA 9, it's just because it's a little off-centered for literally <laughs> $200 or more or less. I mean, that's amazing. I was beyond excited to win this auction. Uh, here's an interesting one. Like, there are certain grails in MetaZoo that still hold some value. Probably would have sold a lot more than it did a year ago, but uh, $187.50. So the special part about this is that Collecticon stamp right there. The population on these, I think there's maybe 10 of these graded at PSA. Very hard to find. So I would say that was a good pickup. I was bidding on this, but the reason why I didn't go all in on this is because I wanted to pick up that Loveland Frogman Kickstarter. And honestly, as rare as this card is, I would still rather have the Kickstarter Full Hollow Loveland Frogman over this card. Especially for considering the fact that I got it for $92.55. Meanwhile, this was $187, but if I was bidding on it as well, this probably would have went over $200. So, whatever picked this up, I understand why they bought it, because that is a really cool Grail card. There's not many of those out there. Ah, the Rudy promos, my favorite subset. Ah, uh, the Red Crayon, sold for $101. That's crazy, but these are very limited and, I mean, it's Rudy promos, right? I know a lot of, some people don't collect them, some people can care less about them, but they hold value. Now, here's where I need to illustrate my point on people paying $202 for that UFO card, or meanwhile, sample cards, like, I mean, it don't, it don't even matter what the sample full hollow is, but this is, you know, a beastie people know. Jersey Devil, graded as a PSA 9, that's a pretty good grade. $430 only. Sample cards used to be untouchable as far as value goes, like the pricing. As well, I mean, oh my goodness. UFO sample PSA 9 for $380. Oh, here we have Choco Cat. PSA 10, only $135. People were buying this promo for like 200 bucks or $150 or whatever. This is graded as a PSA 10 and it's only $135. Uh, here we have Awful. I don't know what happened to Awful. It truly is awful as far as value goes. Still my favorite card to pull from Wilderness. I love pulling this card. As a PSA 10, only sold for $16.95. <laughs> I'm not joking, I bought these for $45 raw when they were first coming out. I thought this was the next Mothman. Damn was I wrong. <laughs> but hey, it's still my favorite card. I don't care what the value is. And here, well, I mean it's a fair price. It's not, well actually this is pretty cheap. I mean it's Kickstarter Full Hollow Bigfoot. I mean it's crazy, 66 bucks. Now is the time to buy and that's the thing. Anyone watching this video in the future, this was the time to buy MetaZoo, without a doubt. So, it's an amazing time. Another prime example here, Hero Quest, Grim Reaper. That is definitely one of the top pulls. Only $22.50. Oh yeah, this one's a little more reasonable for 12 uh, Wilderness boxes. I mean, all the prices are cheap, but if you're gonna buy a lot like this, this is definitely gonna be a good investment in the future. Only $255 for 12 boxes. That's $21 what 25 cents per box if you add on the shipping it's about 24 dollars a box i mean that's a good deal especially if you hold on to these hey it's next strength of pokemon uh well 35 dollars for this okay that's not bad that's maybe a little higher than they have been selling for but gem mint second edition full hollow mothman here we have another one it's a regular tops chrome mothman card the original artwork it's not the refract or anything but still, I mean, Metazoo's gone to zero plus grading fees. He literally made back his grading fees. $20.50 for this card as a PSA 10. Uh, Nanook promo from 
MetaZoo Marketplace promos. Uh, yeah, it was the only full hollow. We may as well just go close up on it because the MetaZoo Marketplace promos volume one was a disaster. There's only five cards in the set and four of them were reverse hollow. This was the only full hollow. So as a PSA 10, what did it sell for? 42 bucks. Mothman PSA 10 from Nightfall for $51. Wow, that's actually gone up a bit. I mean, I bought one, I think, two, three weeks ago for $21.50. Uh, Wendigo, Full Hollow, Nightfall, just like the Mothman. $35 as a PSA 10. I remember <laughs> once I bought one for, I think, $275. Uh, Prism Aura, PSA 10. I'm surprised it sells for so cheap now. That's the first Aura card. It's such a nice card. A PSA 10 for only $67. Here we have, this is interesting. And this is why I'm making this video. I want to document stuff like this. First edition, full hollow, Mothman. Now there's near a thousand of these graded as a PSA 10. So there are a lot of PSA 10s of this card, but super iconic. I've never pulled one before. I do have one as a PSA 10, but I never actually pulled one. $202.50 as of December 26, 2023. Here we have Misha Pichu from Wilderness, one of the hardest cards for me to pull from Wilderness, and a fan favorite without a doubt. I mean, this is such a nice card. PSA 10, only $13.50. Uh, here we have six UFO booster boxes for $123. I don't see any shipping prices. Well, because it said it may not ship to Canada. So I don't know what the shipping was, but based on the price here, that's about $16 a box. Yeah, I mean, I remember an Argos video talking about these boxes, the Christmas boxes from 2021. Five of them sold for $52 each, or $52 total, so maybe $10 each. And last but not least, we have Seance Booster Box that sold for $37 plus $25 shipping. I would say that's way too much for a Seance Box unless, it, unless it's the NFT box. A Native Booster Box, December 25th, Christmas of 2023, sold for $70 and $25 shipping so it's dipping a little bit but it is holding some decent value the native booster boxes comment below what do you think uh, is there anything notable in here that you think was a steal of a deal overpriced in a year or two from now do you think these values are gonna go up down so give me your opinion give me your two cents and yeah happy new year let's have some fun with MetaZoo buy the dip I guarantee in a year from now and I'm going to make more videos with more auctions and more sales, whatever. Things are going to be a lot different two years from now and any time from this point on. Buy the dip while you can. That's all I can say. And we'll see you in the next video.